Dear brothers and sisters, through the spirit of St. Augustine, this is a homily for second Sunday of Lent year B. It happened in church that one day during offertory time, a devoted Christian dipped his hand in the behind pocket of his trouser and brought out some coins as offering. However, he strongly believed to have left a hundred euro knot in the same pocket. No sooner had the basket of offertory returned at the altar than one man behind him tapped at his shoulder and without saying a word, he gave him a hundred euro knot. Of course, he thanked him very much and quickly stood up to go and offer it as another offering. After Mass, while at the shop, he realized that it was his money that fell and that man gave him back, but then he has already offered it in church. If you are the one, what could you do? Anyway, the liturgical readings of today reminds us to offer something precious to God with all our heart, just as Abraham did. Whereas in the Gospel reading, we find Jesus, the only Son of God, offered to us and God reveals him during the Transfiguration as the beloved Son of God. Therefore, we are obliged to listen to him. Indeed, we are invited to offer something precious to God, to have faith that is accompanied by good actions, and lastly, to set aside some time to be at the mountain with Jesus. To begin with, Abraham in the first reading is asked to do something unimaginable, that is, to sacrifice his son at the mountain. Nevertheless, the author tells us the reason why God asked Abraham to sacrifice his only son Isaac. In fact, God wanted to put to test the faith of Abraham and indeed he found out that Abraham had unshakable faith. And this explains as to why God provided a ram for Abraham to offer as a burnt offering instead of his only son. What can we learn from this? Abraham was willing to offer wholeheartedly even his only son as per God's demand. He didn't ask questions like, this is the only son that I have. He didn't wail and even complain how God is unfair to him. But as the reading says, he was obedient to God's word. How many of us would have this kind of faith and trust in God? The best gift that we can offer to God that is neither made of gold nor silver is reconciliation and forgiveness. During this period of Lent, let us cultivate this gift first to forgive ourselves for our past mistakes and second to forgive our neighbors. The act of offering is very crucial in our Christian life, not only offering material things, but offering forgiveness. If Christians offer forgiveness to one another, it would render this world a saintly city. As Abraham offered his only son wholeheartedly, let us sacrifice our time, our energy, and ourselves to seek God's presence by first listening to him. In the Gospel reading, we find Jesus and his three disciples on the high mountain. 
But one may ask, what is the significance of the mountain? Because it is mentioned also in the first reading that Abraham offered a burnt offering on the mountain. Anyhow, the mountain, theologically speaking, is the place where God reveals himself to man. That is why after Jesus' transfiguration at the mountain, God reveals him as his beloved son, therefore we are invited to listen to him. In addition to that, there was an appearance of two ancient figures, that is Moses who represents the Torah and Elijah who represents the prophets. Hence, their appearance justifies Jesus as the Messiah long awaited. On the other hand, the reactions of the disciples with him, especially Peter, is positive. Peter points to the fact that it is good to be in the presence of God. He longed to experience this beatific vision. Why did Jesus only choose the three disciples, Peter, James, and John? Of course, he wanted to form and instruct them because later on they would become the pillars of his church. They descended from the mountain more assured and strengthened in their faith and trust in Christ. To conclude, from these readings of today, we can learn the following lessons. The best gift to offer to God during this Lent is forgiveness. Life without forgiveness is unimaginable because a family that forgives one another stays together. Second, Jesus and his three disciples set aside some time in order to be with God at the mountain. We too, let us set aside some time during this Lent in order to be with Christ. As I have already said previously, the mountain in biblical terms, for example, to attend Mass is to go on the mountain. To pray is to go to the mountain. To do charity work is to go to the mountain. All in all, any spiritual exercise that reveals to us the presence of God in our life. During this Lent, may God's grace, love, and the Holy Spirit transform our lives. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.